Hey, hey, good evening everybody. I'm over here. <laughs> so this is the first kind of, uh, this type of video that I'm going to be doing. Um, probably going to put a voiceover over it so that you're able to hear what I'm saying. I'm outside of my backyard right now and I'm making this video because of um, all the frustration I've been going through with trying to break apart these lovely pallets. I know pallet projects are becoming more and more popular and um, I've tried everything um, <laughs> from using a crowbar and a hammer um, to using one of those pallet busters and a hammer. And what I found was um, I really didn't need to save the hardware, um, the nails that are holding and tacking it down. So I started digging around and doing a lot of research and I got this little, um, this little bad boy off of Amazon for Christmas from my sister and brother-in-law, um, an oscillating skull by Skill. It came highly uh, reviewed on Amazon and it was something like 36 bucks. So it has multiple settings, but that's not what this video is about. So this video is about how to break apart these pallets, okay? And um, they can be a little, a little hard to break apart if you don't know what you're doing. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of like created the best of the best on how to break apart these pallets very, very quickly and by yourself. So this pallet's up on a table that I built out of pallet wood and I have two clamps, uh, Dewalt clamps on it, holding it down in place so it's nice and secure. I have my oscillating saw and what I did here, it's not plugged in so I'm gonna pull the blade out. What I have here is a nine inch Milwaukee um, blade. Now this blade is unique. Now I have blades that are six inches that cut through metal and then I have blades uh, longer than that that cut through wood. I, I went to Home Depot because I was using uh, the blades that cut metal to cut through here and I was working out fine but what I was noticing was it was taking a long time to get through some of the wood to get to the nail to cut. So I went to Home Depot and found this blade. It was about $15 or $9 for a single blade, nine inches, and it actually cuts on the box, it'll say wood with nails in it. Because of the way the blades are designed, they can handle it just fine. So I'm gonna show you how quick this is gonna be done, okay? I'm not speeding it up. I'm gonna go at the pace that I would usually go. When I pack, when I broke this up with the pallet buster thing, um, that I could break down fairly quickly, but then you gotta punch out all those stupid nails. And if you use a, uh, let's say like a, a handsaw and you cut along, you're using a, you're losing a couple inches too. So I thought this was the fastest way. So once go, once of course, of course, be sure to use some sort of eye protection. Be sure to, sure to use um, gloves if you want to. I do, and then ear protection if you want to as well. So let's get started. So putting the blade back in. Okay, it's in. The safety goggles down power right here. Make sure not to cut the power cable. And all you're going to do is go along the slot side. So, have the power, have the, uh, have the saw right here. And let's start. Or actually, let me move. I have some saw horses here. Let me get those out of the way. So that I can move freely. And I have the, the camera pretty close so that you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so here we go. So let's go right here. And here Okay, so I'm through that side. I got caught up a little bit because I actually started cutting through the wood. And I really should have the saw pointing towards me, but because of the position of the camera, that's it is what it is. So I made sure I was at least fairly safe. So what I'm gonna do now is, since you're here, I'm gonna back the camera up a bit so I can get my hand in there the way I normally would. Try to make sure this is even. Hi my the GoPro here. Alright. So 
I would probably come this way or this way, whichever way you want to come. So. So that side is done. Put my glasses up. And this, yep, see? Pops on out. So we got the middle part in. If you want to save it, save it. Nah. Now once again, it does take some finessing. Sometimes you have to tilt the blade up a little bit to make sure that you're, you know, getting it on the money. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do the other side. I'm gonna take the clamps off. Since you saw this side, you don't really need to see the other side. Clamp this back down. Take this one off also. Clamp this over here. And I'm outside on a beautiful Thursday evening here in Margate, Florida. In my backyard. Alright, so let's see if this one goes a little smoother. So once again, making sure that I'm safe about it, as safe as I possibly can be. I have a long extension cord, so plenty of room. Alright, let's do this side. was a little harder to get through because the wood was a little thicker on that end so let's do the bottom so far. This would have taken me eons to do <laughs> if I would have been doing this alone. So let me move this in real quick so you guys can see something. So what's happening here is you're able to see that this part right here it only has two nails on it. So it's pretty bendable, pretty pliable, and some of them will pop up. See how this one's kind of broken already? I know it's getting dark, but it is getting, it's broken. So what I'm gonna show you here is I'm just gonna come in here. And I'm gonna cut the middles out. The way the middles work is you're gonna wanna make sure to kind of cut in the middle back and forth and it'll come loose. So I recommend going in this way and then switching and coming in the other way too. First one's usually the hardest to get out, the other one's usually kind of two. Two. Once again, you're cutting the nails off so you don't have to punch any nails out. <laughs> that one 
flew right off. That one's out. And you'll feel when the, it hits the nail, it'll, it'll, it'll sound differently. I just, I don't even know if this one's worth taking off, it's all cracked anyways. But we'll take it off. So that side's done. And flip it over right quick. Now to do the other side can be a little harder because of the mere fact that you're dealing with um, pretty much unstable, but sometimes it pops out. If it pops out because of what I use, pops out and the nail is sticking out, have a handy dandy hammer next to you. I just hammer them down. I don't really need them to be completely removed because project I'm currently working on doesn't require that they be removed entirely. But with this, this handy dandy trick I just showed you, it comes off fairly simple. So look, see, flip it over, got the ribs, flip it over. This one popped out also. So once again, handy dandy hammer, hammer you can step on this and get tetanus. Shots to the stomach aren't fun. All right, so let's cut these off. This should stay in position. We'll be careful. Make sure we're careful. Okay. That one's off. He wants to move around a little bit, probably because I should clamp it down on that side, but yeah, you know what? Just to make it easier on all of us, get this clamp. When you're working alone, best tool is a clamp. <laughs> See what happens is that a lot of times when you cut through one, it becomes a little bit more maneuverable. So what I'll do sometimes I'll flip it like this so I can get at that nail easier. That's it. No nail. Let's cut through this one. Use that same tactic. Cut through the first one. Boy, up a bit. There we go. That one had three nails in it. Two more. We're we done. Two more. piece goes into my junk pile so I don't use the centers just go around and pick up pallets there we go so all that I got one two three four five Anyways, um, oscillating saw, that's what I'm calling it. Maybe this isn't the right name. And then with a blade designed, let me unplug it. With a blade designed 
for cutting through wood with nails. So this video may be a little dark. I apologize for that. It's my first video making it like this. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to um, ask them below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can and share your thoughts. And uh, be sure to subscribe and like it. You guys have a great evening.